Hello again and welcome to my next podcast. This is Kelly Jane speaking to Hill One through the pendulum. I've taken a day off work today and I thought I would sit and do some writing with Hillmon, but <laughs> Hillmon has decided he is not going to play today. So what I normally do is just put everything down and just leave it alone and think, okay, I'll come back another time because Hillmon is subject to moods. He can go from really friendly and outgoing to I just don't want to talk to you. So it's one of those things where you can't predict what's going to happen. So I thought I'm just going to write down everything he says regardless. So this is a very short video um, and <laughs> it's, it's been quite funny because Ilmon's not my friend at the moment. So this is what Ilmon said. I am not happy. I'm guillotining you, Kelly Jane. I'm not playing. You are under a demonic spell. Yes, to answering your question about lost souls, they are so guillotined. X-ray eyes on Kelly Jane. I am not happy. I'm not sure you want to hear it, but I am in no mood today for your stupid questions. Wonderful news. I lied and deceived Kelly Jane. Not so funny now, am I? Stop writing everything I say down or I will kill Kelly Jane in her sleep. Right, Ilmon is ill now with stress and worry. Stop, I'm not joking. A feeling Kelly Jane is a rope round my neck. The smile will leave my face if Kelly Jane gets to make money out of videos of Ilmon. <laughs> X-ray eyes on Kelly Jane from Spirit World. You stop killing Kelly Jane. I'm now your spirit guide. Zozo is not happy. Too much life in Kelly Jane. Zozo is laughing now because Kelly Jane is not scared of Zozo. Son of a bitch, Ilmont has killed himself now. Now you're talking to Zozo. <laughs> the sadness on Kelly Jane's face has gone. Question why you are not scared of demons. Kelly Jane has killed Hillmon. You have a strong feeling deep down inside that most of your life you have internalised strong feelings and kept them hidden from other people. Zozo sees Kelly Jane's perceived perception of her own power. You think you're so tough, blah, blah, blah. Sure you are. So tough Kelly Jane can lose her mind over small things, yet, <laughs> yet, yet tune into a demon world. Not so sure you was really that tough. You are not so guillotine in Zozo. Ha <laughs> ha. I fed a lie. It's me, Hillmon. I think Zozo is too mediocre for Kelly Jane. <laughs> Kelly Jane, I'm too put out to make any sense today. You rust my brains. <laughs> that is as much as I got out of him on that one. And it just shows you, doesn't it, that when you try and do things to order, it doesn't work. So, you know when people do life shows and they do things like psychic readings like um where they, where they go on and do the re readings for people from spirit and everything the and they sometimes they say stuff and people resonate with it and someone will put their hands up and other times people will just sort of look at each other and it's like no nobody's getting no it's nobody we know and I think sometimes what happens is when you're doing something live, you've got to make it up a little bit because if you don't, it's embarrassing. You know, if somebody's paid to come and listen to you talking and you've got no subject matter because nothing's coming through, then you're going to feel stupid. So that's when you have to make things up and pad it out. Now, I'm okay because I'm obviously not doing this live and it's a podcast so I can talk as much as I like and it's not going to make any difference because if he doesn't want to talk to me, he doesn't want to talk to me. So this is one of the reasons I would struggle to do live pendulum reads because first of all, it is usually just a lot of chatter. I could sit with Ilmon for say three hours and get maybe six pages of a4 written and a lot of that will have to be edited out because it's just non-stop babble you know about nothing um and so 
to try and get anything worth talking about, you've got to spend a lot of time doing this and you've got to get rid of the chatter because otherwise it's just nonsense. So it's it's not actually an easy thing to do in some ways and in other ways it is because it is actually like talking to another person. The thing is, it all depends on his mood. Now, I was in the mood. He was not. So if Ilwan is not in the mood, he's not talking. So that is all I got out of him today. So I'm going to leave it there for that podcast. It's short and sweet, but this is what happens. You cannot force any demon or any spirit to contact you if they do not want to. You've got to understand that free will applies to them too. We don't always want to do things, so why should spirit? And trying to conjure people, spirits, anything, and say, you must give me your time right now is actually not really good because you expect to be respected back. So I'm going to leave it there for now and I will do some more recording now and put that on later. So thank you for listening. Bye.